Hi there, folks. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, how to disassemble a, a, a bright box router. This is the EE bright box. The same applies to the orange bright box. They're exactly the same, just got different firmware versions and different uh, branding on the front. So this is the bright box wireless router. You'll need a small Phillips screwdriver, <coughs> and you need to discharge yourself um, anti-statically. Basically, you need to touch a water pipe or the bare metal, <coughs> excuse me, the bare metal of your computer case before you actually undertake this teardown. So inside the box, you've got the all the rubbish they give you with it. There's the bright box here. So there's your bright box. There's mine. You're not going to see my serial number because I don't want you to see that. Actually, what does it matter? Does it really matter that much? No. So there is the bright box. Ironically, it's not very bright. It's quite dark because it's black. But anyway, um, there's the accessories you get in there. You get your mains adapter, your phone jack lead, your Ethernet cable, and your two microfilters, and your instructions, should you need them. Getting started on the box. Anyway, <coughs> that's going to have to tear down. This little card you'll need as well. That's got my details on it. That's your card that gives you all your login and uh, security details for the box. That's stuck onto the cardboard there. So, get this out of the way and get on with the teardown. So what you need to do is, I've got a bit of sponge here. Um, get the bright box, flip it upside down. You've got four rubber feet. One, two, three, four. Very carefully, um, I use my, thing, my thumb now, you could use a pry tool, is pull these feet off, pull them up carefully. You see the screw underneath there? There's four of those. I put them on the, on the desk, uh, stick your side up so they don't stick to anything and lose their adhesiveness, their stickiness. Pull number two off. Number three. They're not stuck on that, not stuck on that hard, so... They're just like reasonably strong double-sided tape. Excuse my long thumbnail, I should really cut that. Number four. So what you're doing is basically, once the camera focuses, you're pushing at the side of the rubber foot and it peels up, peels up. Okay, so they're off. Now then, arm myself my trusty screwdriver. You need a small, smallish head, not too small. Like the type you get with CD-ROM drives, if you ever have one. So, quite simply, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, hang on. They've now decided to use torque screws. Ah, crafty. They've now decided to use torque screws in this box. So it may not be quite as easy to open. I'll come back to this video in a second. Okay, so after some investigation into the uh, new Torx screws, you're going to need a T9, um, a Torx T9 head, which you'll see in a second once my camera focuses. T9. There we go. So you're going to need to use that to unscrew the top, the uh, bright box. I don't know why they've gone all hyper paranoid and put torque screws on it. They're obviously paranoid that you're going to open the box and do something to it. I mean, flip screws were good enough for the first revision or two. Oh well. They think uh, I can't think a few torque screws are going to put you off getting into it, do they? What, they think that those uh, screw heads are impenetrable, do they? Anyway, I'll come back to this once I've unscrewed the four screws. Bye-bye. Okay, for the, th for the sake of being thorough, you want to make sure when you're un unscrewing your box, you want to make sure the um, the LEDs are at the front and make sure the label is the right way up. So when you put it back together again, you'll put the lid on underneath, you'll put the bottom cover back on um, with your LEDs at the front and your label the right way up. So now I need to pry this thing open. Um, I've got an old credit card here somewhere. Let me find it. Somewhere in my den of gadgets, there's an old credit card. 
So, um, starting corner, so just work your credit card into the seam, slide it along, and it will pop open eventually. Hopefully. So, let's try again. There's clips underneath here, very flimsy clips, which will just come open. So, there we go. Slide the credit card along the back. You see there? And the back's come off already. Just pull carefully. Actually, it's better to do the back first. You see the gap there? Work your way around the edges. With a credit card. There's me trying to do it with my thumb now. And then the front, down the same. And give it a bit of a lever as well. For some reason, it seems to be harder to open than the last one. Don't understand this at all. Ah, yeah, it's best to work from the back, it seems. Um, whoops, what was that? Never mind. What the hell just fell down there? Ah, oh, it's a drinks mat. Nothing of a nothing of a emergency. Right. Let's carry on. It's all about the distractions, folks. It's uh Okay. So you can see the back's open now. There's the clips. There's the clip. There's one there. There's another one. Oh, hang on. There's only one at the back. Well, well. Corner. Perhaps I'll come back to you once this is open, okay? Bye bye. Okay, so after a, a lot of prying, the lid's now off. You can see here, there's one. There's one clip here, eventually when the camera decides to focus, um, there's a clip there at the front, another one at the side, which is the bit with the hole in it, the long bit uh, just here, another at the back, and another on the other side. These um, little recesses here, these two posts here and here, and same the other side, therefore the Wi-Fi antenna, which is a bit of steel, especially shaped bit of steel, which is sold onto the board there via a flying lead. Basically what you do, make sure you've earthed yourself statically first. Once you've got the box open, you go to the front, get the PCB and lift it. It's very loose, just lift it up. And remember the antenna is on the left. It's basically, um, yeah, sitting in a recess. There you go, it comes up. There we go, and there's a bright box. Not looking a bit bright at all. There we have our serial port, J3, in the middle of the video, right in the centre of your screen, you see J3, which is the serial port, which we use to uh, debug the device and hack it. So. Shortly, I'll be showing you how to uh, access that. Bye for now. See you soon. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you these uh, security screws before I go any further. These are the screws that, that the box is now secured with, the E version. They seem to be a Torx with a tiny little dimple in the middle. Um, you can get to high security Torx, which have got a pin coming right out through the top. But these, the pin seems to stop halfway through the depth of the recess of the screw head so it's quite weird you can actually get a t9 screwdriver in there and undo it so i don't know what the, the purpose of the pin is supposed to do uh what it's for i don't know what the purpose of the pin is it's really trying to defeat you getting in it doesn't seem to work i mean if my camera could focus it'd be better <laughs> so yeah the um come on camera what's it doing 
focus please. Anyway, you'll see uh, when you try and take it apart, there's a little pin. Focus. Well, maybe you can see it. Right in the centre of the, there's a screw head, there's a little pin, a little dimple. They obviously think that's going to put you off, but it's not. So there's your Broadcom chip, there's your heat sink there, Ethernet port. Uh, like I said, there's your um, there's your wireless chipset there, which is a Broadcom. It focuses, I'll be able to tell you what it is, eventually. BCM4322. Seven, something. Um, I think that is your flash RAM there. Could just be RAM actually. Etron, Etron Tech. I think that's your flash or your RAM. I don't know. Um, what's on the other side? Nothing. Just some surface mount components. Anyway, that's how to get into a bright box, and that is your serial header there, J3. Let me just point to that in case you can't see it. Here, J3. One, two, three, four. One of those pins isn't used. I can't remember which one. But that's how to get into a bright box. There you go. See you guys. Take